Today, Pope Francis is convening an international meeting to create momentum for a global agreement on climate change later this year. It couldn't come at a better time. A new study finds that the world's oceans, ground zero for global warming, are warming even faster than predicted. The reason? More than 90% of the excess heat trapped by greenhouse gases is absorbed into the world's oceans, as is about a quarter of carbon dioxide emissions, which makes the water more acidic. At the current rate, ocean acidification will cause all species currently fished for food to collapse by the year 2048. This week I sat down with Wendy Schmidt and Dr. Peter Diamandis, who are holding a $2 million global competition to better measure just how acidic our oceans have become. And I asked them why healthy water is so important. So the oceans are the lungs of planet Earth. Uh, they generate half of the oxygen that you and I breathe and take for granted. It feeds an extraordinary uh, percentage of our population, billions of people. And as we increase the CO2 levels in our atmosphere, uh, that CO2 gets absorbed by the oceans and it changes the chemistry. And we wanted to be able to understand what's going on in the oceans because unless you can measure it, you can't impact it. And we were very lucky to partner up with Wendy, not once but twice now, uh, to go after this. And, and Wendy, as you know, her passions are the oceans, like my passion is space. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we've done some amazing things together. Wendy, why don't we know exactly how acidified our oceans are? We have some idea. Scientists have been very alarmed for the last decade mm -hmm. because they've seen an acceleration using the equipment we have, which is cumbersome, it's very expensive, it can't be used in, in very many conditions and so there's a vast amount of the ocean where we have very little information except since ocean acidification is invisible unlike yeah. an oil spill it, it is something you can only judge by the effects and so we have some data we have some recognition that we see shellfish having trouble making their shells we see coral reefs in trouble we see the collapse of populations of oysters and shellfish populations this tells us something is going on and so scientists really need instruments to help them gather a lot of data uh, at all kinds of depths in all kinds of circumstances cold water shore close to shore far offshore all of those things so we designed this competition under the advice of a lot of marine scientists who told us we need these devices can you help us when you look at the numbers uh, around what's happened to the oceans they are staggering to Wendy's point coral reefs have declined by 40 percent worldwide when you look at what we're putting in the ocean Peter 8 million tons of plastic are dumped in the ocean every year that's equivalent to five grocery bags per foot of coastline around the globe. I mean, how did it become that our oceans are a dumping ground for either waste from carbon or actual waste? Yeah, it's convenience. It's out of sight, out of mind. It's the tragedy of the commons. You can give it lots of different names. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is the oceans are fundamentally critical to our survival. And so uh, one of the things that the XPRIZE, uh, we've made a commitment to doing a series of ocean XPRIZES. We've done two so far. We want to do many more. We were at least five. And so we're looking for the best ideas. Where should we be launching X prizes in the oceans? Uh, and really challenging innovators around the world, independent of where they live, where they come from, what their backgrounds are, to help solve these problems. Because, you know, as I wrote in Abundance, and I truly believe there is no problem we cannot solve. It's a matter of focusing the time, the attention, the capital, the technology on solving them. You, on that note, do you think oceans are the new space? I mean, we just saw these incredible <laughs> photos of Blue. No, I have think you guys so. been, has that been like a quiet uh, sort of like fist bumpy thing? But I just mean, <laughs> should we be dedicating the sort yeah. of resources and public interest towards the, the, the seas that we have towards the skies? And of course it's, it's both, right? But the technology that's enabling us, you know, the cell phone technology we have is enabling us to build uh, these kinds of sensors and drones that so forth that are going to allow us to explore and see what's truly going on. Um, and again, it's all about this data revolution, right? The Companies that are killing it, that are crushing it today are data-driven companies. We need our oceans to be data-driven. We need to understand what's going on, and when we make a change, is it improve or not? the ocean health of our planet. It's worth saying that we, unlike space, get a lot of our food from the oceans as well. I mean, all <laughs> I respect to the stars yeah, and the okay, planets, but it is an, it's a life force. It supports millions of millions of people. People, I think every three billion people rely on ocean food for animal protein. And then you look at the statistic that all species, stocks of all species currently fished for food are predicted to collapse by the year 2048, which is 
33 years from now. I mean, that is in well within our own lifetimes, Wendy. I mean, are we reacting to these statistics with the appropriate amount of alarm? The oceans have been under attack significantly, I would say, for at least the last half century. And the problem is people don't understand our relationship to the oceans. They see them from 35,000 feet, yeah. or they see them from the shoreline. They don't understand that int intimate connection. So part of what we're trying to do with these prizes is to create the conversation, you know, to bring all kinds of players into this contest. Wendy Schmidt and Peter Dumand, it's great to see you guys. A pleasure. Thank Thanks you. for your time. You can find out more about the contest and how you can fight ocean acidification at oceanhealth.xprize.org.